Don't know we ain't, we're not exaggerating. Here's how cold it is. Watch it. Watch how cold it is up here. Here's one that's light today. Let's try it. This one was light today. See? That's how cold it is up here. Uh, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm getting snow. The rest to flush the toilet because our water is froze. I'll take that and put it on a wood stove and let it melt and put some more in it. So how you like living off grid? I like it. See? It's my water bather. And I'm gonna boil me some, some snow water to flush the commode. Alright, let's go. Kaden, what you doing? Are you playing in the snow? Can you show Nana? Oh, you're getting all the snow off the side by side? Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's on the shabby side. Thank you. It's on the shabby side. It is on the side by side, huh? No, no, get it off the shabby side. Get it off the side by side? Daddy's getting it off the truck. Probably six, eight inches. Oh, yeah, yeah, about eight inches on there. All the water totes are froze solid as a rock. what off grid's like. At least when it snows, huh? Yeah. Look, well, this really ain't that bad for these. <clears throat> Them up there are completely covered too. Oh, shit, I didn't know you were going to
And that's what's gonna not be good about the solar on the roof right there. See how deep that is on the solar panel? And I ain't fine up there. Then we got them on top of the back porch out there. They're completely covered. Then the front porch is completely covered. With about that was probably eight or eight to nine inches of snow on there. And back here's the water tank. Let's see. Hard as a rock. I hope the tanks didn't bust, but it's them things are hard as a rock. All four of them. Solid, solid block of ice. Completely full. Solid block of ice. Here's the water toast behind the house. Hard as a rock. Hard as a rock. I do have the water shut off though, so my pipes inside don't bust. Well, they're not, it's not shut off there. It's shut off on the tanks itself. But them things, every one of them, harder. I hope the tanks didn't bust their stuff, don't do it. It's cold as it's been up here in several years. As you can see, the wood stove is a chugging. And there is it on the stove. In a second.
It looks like it's melting it pretty good. Yeah. I've been doing something. We got some uh, de-icer from Walmart and put it in a sprayer. And they're gonna sweep them off a little bit and then we're gonna spray it on them solar panels to get the ice off. Uh, Papa, pump it up. Okay, I'm gonna pump it up right now. I mean, it's going to work. But they'll have to be uncovered first, I bet. And these sprayers, two gallon sprayers from Harbor Freight, don't waste your money. Jump. And it's cold out here. Mm -hmm. Very cold. Like I said, it'd probably be all right, but you'd have to put so much on it for it to do anything. But the thing about it is, though, if you get that scraped off and then put it on there, it'd probably be all right because it'll make it, you know, clean them off. Yeah, you can tell that it's helping right there. It's kind of doing something. But as far as that snow, it ain't, it ain't hitting on nothing no way. What's the batteries on now? What's the batteries on now? Like 70. That's pretty good. A tank of gas took it all the way from what to 70? From 20, 20%, 20 was, it was like 74 this morning. That's, that's pretty good. I found that one. See my scarf pop off? Then I made. You look warmer now, Bubba. You warm? Okay, good. <laughs> well, I guess this is what it's like being off grid. We're snowed in. Well, we can get in and out. Uh, all the water froze. Solar panels still covered up. And uh, about eight more inches of snow on the solar panels. And it's too cold to shovel them off. So, it's like. Nineteen degrees. Uh, the chicken waters are froze, so we're gonna have to give them some water. So I brought some water. I'm gonna try to bust some of that ice up in their thing in here. Oh shit! There's a bunch of eggs in there. Probably frozen, ain't they? Yeah, we we'll have to all them away because they're frozen, busted. I don't think there's gonna be no dipping that out. That's solid. I thought I was gonna be able to bust it out. But I'm gonna negative on that one. So what I'll do is I'll pour them a little on top of it. I'll put them right here. Yeah, yeah,
Don't know we ain't, we're not exaggerating. Here's how cold it is. Watch it. Here's how cold it is up here. Here's one that's late today. Let's try it. This one was late today. See? That's how cold it is up here. Oh, yeah. That one was late this morning. Out you need another basket or something? Nah, I'm just going to make that many of these. They are just rocking. Alrighty guys, right, yeah, that's just an update of what it's like to live off grid in the middle of a hard freeze, snowed in. Well, technically we're not snowed in, but her car sitting outside the road down on the main road. It, it won't come in here. If it wasn't for that truck, we wouldn't be in, in and out of here. So, and this right here is our guy. We just bought this from Walmart, took it inside the house and brought it out here. And long enough to pour it in that side and pour it in that side before I got the portal there, it was froze. It's got ice slushy in it. That's crazy because we just brought that out here. But anyway, uh, we just want to do an update on what it's like up here in the middle of a hard freeze and everything else. Anyway, if you ain't done so, like and subscribe and we'll get some more videos out. Thank you.